Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are back. Oh, actually, what's up, trash blazers? Yeah, I'm not gonna call you ladies and gentlemen, all right? You guys are trash. I say that with love, by the way. We are picking up where we left off yesterday. I had to find, like, a nice little intermission section to stop and cap myself off for the day. But from here on out, I think I am going to just beeline it for the rest of the story. Chat has told me that this will pretty much carry me throughout the rest of the story of completing Bellabog, which I'm looking forward to. We have the ghost of Christmas past being Mama Cacolia. Look at her. She's great. And the ghost of Christmas present being Bronya. We have some like fragmentum images over here, like basically kind of leading us to wherever they are. And uh, I'm in the middle of a current puzzle where I have to like find these four generators. And that's currently where I'm at. Quick little housekeeping. Nothing too serious here. I uh, officially completed my first battle pass for honkai star rail level 50 battle pass has been achieved with 20 days left so it feels very similar to that of genshin where i usually finish these battle passes off with like three weeks to spare we got all the rewards so easy clap Ooh, i've been going super hard and getting all of the preservation ones so i kind of want to pivot yeah i'll go for nihility holy shit these freaking resources my god all right there you go easy clap boys and for those of you who are curious i believe i settled on this one i got the erudition one for ching Chui. i felt like i didn't have like a proper one for her so i ended up going for that one we actually have to take a little walk on the wild side real quick give me a second between yesterday and today everything like all my rewards and everything reset so i did run back the simulated universe world 2 for this week because i'm capped out at 3500 but after today's stream i believe after i finish bellabog my world level will be able to go up and then this number will jump higher and then i'll be able to get more rewards and go to like world three and all that other stuff and this is my eighth herta bond the question now becomes which weapon do i redeem because i'm eventually gonna get all of these but this is gonna be my first one i'm not desperate for any one of these i'm just kind of curious as to like the value that they all provide also if you guys don't notice this this is the aeon of propagation this is the swarm i was reading all of their descriptions earlier and it literally says right here they had to stop stop self-replicating and rush to embrace each other trying to offer the right to reproduce in exchange for a possibility of survival and so i think this aeon actually died because this card is called on the fall of an aeon holy shit we like dodged a bullet if this is true <laughs> I think some of these light cones are kind of cool. I heard that the hunt one is probably the go-to option. And then we have preservation, which I'll be honest with you, I'm going to hold my pulls until Jin Yuang comes out in case I lose the 50-50 on his weapon. But if I end up getting Jin Yuang's weapon and I don't lose the 50-50, I think I'm just going to get Japard's weapon from like the store. I have enough of these embers to redeem another five-star weapon. I have Bailu's, I have Yan Ching's, I have Bronya's, I have Welts. And so I feel like like if I don't lose the 50 50 on his weapon or the 75 25 I don't know what the rate is I think I'm gonna go for Japards and this will probably be the weapon that I use between him and like March 7th that's why I feel like I'm not really crazy about going for the preservation five star weapon just because I have preservation options all right I think my mind's made up I think I'm gonna go for cruising on the stellar seas confirmed another one another five star ladies and gentlemen so with all that out of the way now we can continue on with the main story i promise all righty let's carry on we have the mission the stars are cold toys activate all mechanisms so i did end up coming over here there's like some enemy guy over here i think or not i will bet money that there was an enemy over here i don't know what happened to them where they went we got this Okay, hold on. What's over here then? Oh, this is where the monster is. Oh, he's making his rounds, ladies and gentlemen. I guess that's where he went. <laughs> All right, you good, my guy? Ooh, enemies ahead. This guy's level 42. He's stronger than me. Oh my god. All right, you know what? I'm no fucking coward. Okay, hold on. Maybe with this team I am. Let me get back to you one second. Hold that thought. Let's go. Five star squad. Where you at? God, he's so good. Freeze this man, thank you. Damn, frozen and imprisoned. Like, we get it. We don't want this guy moving. Got this guy. We'll do this. We'll do this. She gets another turn. Oh my god, she's freaking cracked. Oh my god. Another one. I got like super scared because he's level 42 and he's red and I'm like, oh my god, I'm none of my characters are stronger than him. How am I gonna beat him? Disappear among the sea of butterflies. 
Get him! Oh my god, 4,200. That's some big damage. All right, Daddy Welt cleaning it up. Let's go. What's this all about? There we go. Hey, whoever said three head moment, you're looking really dumb right now because I got it. I'm going to follow this real quick. Never mind. I got to get this guy and then I have to rotate it. Who's next? Easy clap, boys. Are those monsters guarding the energy hub? Yes, they are. It seems like it. Strange. Hmm? Fragmentum monsters would usually destroy man-made objects. Uh, are we assuming that these were not man-made? Oh, dear. The plot thickens, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so I guess I'm going to do this, and then I have to go through this door. Oh, hold on. So that's two down, two to go. Hold on. I think I messed up real quick. Did you hear that? This mechanism must be on now. Come on, let's find the next one. Behind that gate. There's no switch. Yeah. We need to find a way around. Okay. <sighs> I've never seen such a desolate place. At least in Rivet Town, you could tell that people used to live there. Hmm. Rivet Town is only at the outstretched fingertips of the corrosion. Now, mm. we're deep in the Fragmentum's heart. I know what I have to do. I have to get to that other side and then create this shortcut, turn this around again, and then backtrack. All right, hold on. I, I didn't mean to do that. Hey, we have been reunited. Also, oh, Cavern of Corrosion. Is this a Fragmentum phenomenon that I've seen before? Not wise to get too close. I'd better check in with Mr. Yang. I feel so bad for Welt. I'm like, Welt, what is this? Welt, what is this? <laughs> what is this, Mr. Yang? It appears to be a rift in space torn open by the Fragmentum as it erodes reality. The scientific name for this phenomenon is Cavern of Corrosion. No one knows for sure what kind of space the caverns are connected to. However, research indicates that the valuable reality data is often shattered within these caverns. As for the calyxes, the derivatives of the Fragmentum always carry unidentified risk. Please exercise caution if you wish to explore it further. Okay. Oh, we were literally just talking about how I'm not planning on doing artifact farming. And then they're like, here's your relic farming. <laughs> I did not farm five-star artifacts in Genshin until I was AR 45. And I had like a hundred plus fragile resin. So I'm probably just going to stick with whatever artifacts the game gives me. Three down, one to go. Success. Another mechanism shut down. Good job. I want to ask you a question. Okay. Ask away. Do you still remember those dreams you mentioned to us? The Stellaron dreams? Yep. I know you're wide awake right now, but I need you to try. Mm. See if you can recall the voice you heard. Close your eyes and meditate. Oh, God. It's like, okay, if you can hear or feel the voice, that means we're getting closer. All right. You try to recall the dreams. As your train of thought deepens, the voice comes to you. Danger. I love the sound of this voice. It's so scary, though. There was a voice calling out to Kakolia. This is merely speculation, but perhaps the voice you heard is the Stellaron somehow conveying information to Kakolia. Yeah. And the one in your body is resonating with the Stellaron on this world. I said that shit when we first got here. I was like, oh, are we having dreams of the Stellaron because we have a Stellaron in us? So it's like, we're calling out to it. Huh? You mean that Stellarons can communicate? I've never heard that before. I'm on the writing team, by the way. There's never been a human that could accommodate a Stellaron in their body. The Stellaron knows we're here. Aren't we walking straight into a trap? Mm. So what I want to know is, is the Stellaron within Kakolia too? Too, or is it just like her next door neighbor or something? I don't know. Yes, and Branya may well be the bait. Yeah. Don Hung's speculations are usually right on the money, but even if we've guessed right, we can't go home now. At this point, I'm convinced that like the Stellarons in this game are the equivalent to the Gnosis in Genshin, which kind of makes me wonder if there's an equivalent in Honkai Impact Third, because I feel like every game it's like sources of power that you gotta like collect. There's no way back anyway. At least Kokolia won't catch us off guard now so what if it's an ambush we're not about to lose now i have to save Branya, <laughs> beat kakolia holy shit crush this stellaron thing to dust she's in girlfriend saving mode all righty we have one more mechanism and then we're done now i can turn this and then i have to go back the other way there we go easy clap boys all right let's head back 
It took some effort, but we finally cracked these mechanisms. Kind of hard to get back there without We're a bridge. One step closer to Branya. Let's move. Uh, are these echoes too? Oh shit. Yes, the fragmentum here seems to have made a special connection with Kokolia. Mm. It's repeatedly generating forms in her image. Oh, wait, are the other ones there too? Oh, they are. This is a little trippy. There's like constant ghosts of Christmas past. I don't understand. Even if the truth is as you say, every generation of Guardian has resisted the call of the Stellaron. Kokolia's like, ah, uh, I'm different. Can all of them have been wrong, Mother. Do you still not see, Branya? There is no right or wrong here. Some of them acted out of human pride, others out of human short-sightedness. I'm looking respectfully, Trap. Our ancestors, including Elisa Rand, spent their whole lives trying to prolong this civilization. Then, after all fell still, their memories were scattered by the blizzard. They spent lifetimes writing songs of praise that lauded the bravery of humanity but couldn't spare the time to gaze up into the stars to those entities of greater magnificence in the heavens above oh god a thousand years is but a passing moment the attainments of insignificant beings nothing more than a footnote the entities of greater magnificence in the heavens above is there a celestia in this game too god damn it i can't deal with this i shall not follow the guardian's misguided steps down that blind alley of narcissism if persistence is futile then one must choose a new beginning yo nanook is laughing right now he's literally laughing at us Klipoth, the preservation. Are they not one of the magnificent entities you speak of? Is it not their strength that has sheltered Bellabog this entire time? Yeah, where's your god now? The preservation. Has the preservation ever looked humanity in the eye? Oh dear. Nothing more than an arrogant delusion of the architects. Yo, that's sacrilege. You can't talk to them like that. Oh, you will hear the real voice of magnificence. Then mm. you will understand my choice. Damn, Klopath over here getting roasted just because he's building walls and protecting people. Kakolia drank the Kool-Aid. I'm sorry. Like, she's literally corrupted by the Stellaron's influence to the point where I feel like the Stellaron won. The intrusive thoughts won in the end, unfortunately. What the heck? Ooh, what is that? That's Whoa, check this place out. Tables and sentry posts? There must have been silver main guards stationed here once. Looks like another completely new monster. Also looking respectfully, chat. Considering where we are, <laughs> it would be surprising if we didn't run into strange enemies here. Yeah, I was gonna say, this is giving me Mirror Maiden vibes. I don't care how strange it is. It's blocking our way. Let's get it. All right, so Great. what? the heck is this? A guardian shadow. A shadow manifested from the power of the Stellaron. <laughs> Those who use skills will be punished. <laughs> Degenerate comment incoming. What if I want to be punished? <laughs> I want to do it just to see what happens. Serval, I'm really sorry if you get one shot. Turn it up for your sins. Let's go. I've seen enough. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. Wait, wait, does that mean I can use my ult? Those aren't skills, technically. Rules are made to be Yeah, broken. rules are made to be broken. Fuck your freaking ban nonsense. Hell yeah. We're breaking all them rules. Let's do that. I'm also going to use this. I completely forgot. <laughs> I literally just forgot. I'm gonna get my whole team killed. We have forged in ice. Wow. I actually have to remember. Oh, come the fuck on. What do you mean if I attack you? What if that's my only option? For your sins. Let's make it quick. I just got cucked by her freaking Eidolon. I attacked this guy with a basic, but the AOE hit her. So I still get punished? I'm not gonna lie, that's kinda troll. Bruh. Oh my god, she's gonna fucking die. What do I do here? I have to attack her. Like, I don't have a choice. Will this work if I break? I'm also going to ult. I'm going to double down. Oh, okay. So I got to break it. Okay. This is such a cool boss. Uh, they're not even a boss. They feel like a boss. All right. That's kind of my fault because I got curious at the beginning there. I want to do it just to see what happens. So Serval died because of me, gamers. <laughs> and then the ban hammer still hits me. 
Just out of spite. This enemy is completely different. If I didn't know it was a product of the Fragmentum, I'd think we were fighting a human. Yeah, if that's how complex enemies are going to start getting, I'm actually kind of nervous about the late game. Unlike those random low-level Fragmentum creations, this one seems to have a mind of its own. It seems to be able to use complex tactics. Look! Branya and Kokolia's echoes. Hmm. They must have come through here. The voices are getting clearer. That means we must be really close, right? Bro, I can literally track down a Stellaron anywhere if I just like literally listen to the voices in my head. I sense that we're very near to the Northern Snow Plains. All right, at least now I know what the enemy does and I will not use Serval as a guinea pig anymore. This is where the first guardian led the Silvermane guards into battle. She made huge sacrifices for the sake of temporary respite. But the otherworldly legion did not tire. She soon realized that flesh and blood could not contend with so ruthless an enemy. <clears throat> I'm looking respectfully, chap. When all was nearly lost, she chose to set her sights on the Stellaron and made the first wish. Oh, shit. As for what came later, you know as well as I. Winter is coming. The eternal freeze was a disaster brought about by a human wish? <laughs> Ironic, no? All the Stellaron did was answer humanity's call. Oh boy. And yet we kept its existence a closely guarded secret for centuries. Damn, that sucks. Even going so far as to attempt to use it to control the Stellaron. It? Woeful. <laughs> Laughable. It? Oh, something created using otherworldly technology. An inhibitor that a corporation from the old world and the architects attempted to use to house the Stellaron. <laughs> Forbidden knowledge, maybe? <laughs> What's with this otherworldly technology? I feel like everyone is stealing stuff from other worlds. What did Dainsley say? We will defy this world with a power from beyond. Forbidden knowledge didn't come from this world, and now they're doing the same. I know you have many questions, my daughter. Be patient. Soon you will have all the answers. I don't know about that one. All right, this is a gotcha game. We're not getting answers for years. Oh, man. So this place also has some otherworldly... I'm using powers from beyond nonsense going on time to activate my absolutely giant brain mission failed <laughs> hold on gamers i got this okay one eternity later there we go fucking 10 head the whole squad's here jesus something's over oh my god everyone's here it's smash bros everyone's here that's a big boy. Dude, look at its body. It literally looks like the stars of the abyss. It's a galactic chonker. <laughs> you would go that way. Oh, okay, you fucking would. Literally setting me up for a drive by that little bastard. Oh, great, great. I gotta deal with this lady again. She's gonna ban me to the freaking stars. I'm literally going ham right now. I don't even care. Oh, I just realized I didn't heal before the fight. Fuck. Gamers, we might be looking at my first L of the game. Don't kill your part. Don't hit your part. <laughs> in the name of Landau, I could use all the help I can get right now. A will forged in ice never falters. We're alive, but for how long? The redemption. That's it. <laughs> oh my God, she's almost dead. Oh wait, break. Disappear a moment. What fucking go? Illusions of the past. <laughs> Hell yeah. We are Zila gaming right now. Holy shit. Japard has nine HP, dude. Nine! Mistakes are gonna be made, ladies and gentlemen. The Trailblazer. Yeah. That 31 HP gain. <laughs> oh my god! Are we actually gonna clutch this right now? Here among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit, I I am so lucky. Japard has no health on his bar right now. This man's practically dead. <laughs> I thought that was literally gonna be my first death of the game. Japard actually goaded for that for all time, like no cap. Hello, sir. Let's do one of these and wish me luck. This time we're fully healed. This is different. <sighs> Only a scratch. This ends here. What the fuck is this enemy? All right, I'm gonna big freeze this guy. Never mind. I don't know why I thought that would work. What 
the fuck did you just do to that guy? He just absorbed that guy. <laughs> what the fuck? Plus 50 attack. Oh dear. That is not good. Is there a chance for him to eat both to get 100 to get to double his attack? Because he ate one of them and it gave him plus 50. I might have to like kill these guys first. Illusions of the past. Uh, this is so exciting. I actually am really enjoying the combat now. Thank God I leveled up my characters to 40. I would not be able to deal. Okay. Oh my God. No, don't eat them. Wait, regurgitation? How did I get an achievement for that? Oh, so does he have to constantly eat? Is that like the whole system? You know what's super cool about this fight? His stomach is like the vastness of the galaxy and he has to constantly feed himself. And then if you don't give him any food, he's just gonna like consume himself. That's kind of cool. Just a scratch. She said just a scratch. The denial is real. Tis but a flesh wound. Yeah, that, there you go, buddy. No food for you. Nice, GG. <laughs> hey, bada, bada, bada. There we go. Keanu would be proud. These last couple of fights were probably better than all of the fights that I've done on the planet so far. The last fight mainly because I was feeling it, dude. I, I That was actually intense. That was like a life or death situation. Enter the innermost corridor of fading echoes. All right, there's another echo right here, actually. Speaking of which. It's that shadow of hers again. But... Ooh. Rania's isn't with her this time. Uh-oh. It's only a fragmentum illusion. Let's get a closer look. Uh, what'd you do to Bronya? Like this echo is different from the others before. It's real. The intruders. Uh-oh. Did did she just speak? What the hell? You cannot approach. What the hell? Good. March, help the way. The Stellaron. Wait, is this the fight? You go no further. Wait, is this the actual uh, boss fight right now? Where this isn't the real her? It may look like her, but the Fragmentum can only create forgeries. Bring her Again. down! The Guardian of Bellabog and the indisputable ruler of the towering citadel Bellabog. Kolia possesses the divine authority passed down through the generations of guardians, giving her command over ice and snow to freeze her enemies in battle. Where's my girlfriend, damn it? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I want to take off two times speed. I want all this to be in slow motion, ladies and gentlemen. If you played on two times speed and then you go back, it's like you're playing in slow motion, but I want to see all the moves for the boss fight. <laughs> Holy moly, the finesse. Tremble before my power. What the hell? What is that? <sighs> Oh, she's got her own freaking ice eruditions. It's just going to do AOE ice damage until I destroy them. Uh, all right, we're going to do this. You can fight it or rock with it. Let's make it quick. Oh, shit. Yo, there's no way that this is just a one health fight. She doesn't have any of the circles under her thing. Illusions of the past. I'm sorry, Mama Cocolia. Freeze to death. Geez, like that though? Witness the avalanche. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> what is happening right now? Wrath of Winterland Saints enters the charging state. The next action casts punishment of endless winter on all targets. Japard helped you. <laughs> Look at the trail blade. That's the definition of ice, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god, that is hilarious. All right, so we gotta brace ourselves. Sinners, ready yourself for the judgment of eternal winter. <laughs> Oh my god! I didn't realize she had an ultimate too. That's kind of sick. Thank god Jafar got his shield when he did. This will kill, right? After everything you just did to me? You made me look like a damn fool? Oh, you're lucky. You're fucking lucky, ma'am. You're fucking lucky, ma'am. Rock with it! I actually think that's way more appropriate. That She disappeared! I just got an achievement called Serval's Parting Gift. Was that because I killed her with Serval? I was like, actually, that's a little bit more appropriate because Serval and her have history. Yo, let's fucking go. We're gaming. The stairs. It's the only way forward. Wherever they lead, it must be the end of the journey. I don't want to get to the end so soon. I want my journey to go on forever. No, you don't. All right, I don't got that kind of money. Three weeks in and I'm having second thoughts. 
This means that Branya is up ahead, and so is the fate of the overworld and the underworld. It's all in our hands. I thought I'd feel nervous or afraid. Jesus. But I don't. The only feeling I have is that none of this seems real. Is this how trailblazing expeditions usually come to an end? Not always. Sometimes it's a happier conclusion. The Express has traveled world after world. We are merely passing travelers. Hmm. Witnesses to part of a grander story. Uh, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. We're the witnesses, you yeah, know, just like Aether. We invariably avoid getting drawn into turbulence that can decide the fate of a world, but there are always times when we have no choice but to act. Or to put it another way, this is one heck of a first trailblazing expedition. Hmm. You hit the jackpot. I know, right? I was about to bore you all with my gloomy reflections, but on second thought, not today. <laughs> Adventuring with you guys by my side has made me feel like no obstacle is too big. True. Right on, but you can say whatever you like. A good adventure shouldn't be full of rules and regulations. Helping those in need, befriending those worth counting on, and saving the world a few times along the way. <laughs> That's the spirit of the trailblaze. Everwinter Hill. Domain time? Oh, here it is. Okay, your team must include the trailblazer. All team members must be at a level not lower than 30. Okay, okay. So they're literally like, if you're under 30, get your ass out of here. The cruise journey in Jurilo 6 has come to an end. Venture into the land of winter, face the wrath of Kakolia head on, and defeat her evil schemes. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh, it's an exploration area. Oh, it's freezing here. The blizzard's so fierce. Oh, the power from the trailblaze path isn't enough to stop the cold. It means that we're getting closer to the Stellaron and the heart of the Eternal Freeze. These winds are whipping like crazy. Jesus. This place looks like shit. <laughs> Hold on, investigate. Well, what is this? Oh, it's scary. Oh, dear. It's like an insect trapped in amber. I bet the antimatter legion forces never thought they'd be swallowed up by the eternal freeze when they invaded this world. Even in the ice, could these guys still be alive? <laughs> this is not a place for jokes. I kind of want to know what they say. I hereby name him March 8th. <laughs> I'm impressed you can still think up jokes right now. That was too good to pass up. That's basically how they found you. Look at this guy. Fucking centaurs? Friend or foe, they all got cucked by the freaking Stellaron. The frozen remains of Void Rangers are scattered along the mountain path. Even the ruthless antimatter legion is helpless against the might of the eternal freeze. The Void Ranger remains are preserved remarkably well in the ice. You can't help but wonder. Perhaps March 7th is right. Either way, you think it's best not to unfreeze them. Well, yeah, of course. Did the architects build this? Oh, shit. Very different from the uniform style of the buildings we saw in the city. Oh, is this the otherworldly thing does they were it talking about? Look like the palm of a huge hand to you? Yes, it does. Dude, this is literally Conria, bro. It's a giant ruin golem. Poyoverse was like, yo, let's double up on these assets. If Kakolia threatens us by taking Branya hostage, we have to save her. The underworld. No. The entire planet relies on her. It's right there. I can see it. It's right there. I have no idea what the fuck I'm about to get into. Sustenance anchor? Oh, okay. Um, num, 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 num. <laughs> this is where you're going to go if you get clapped by the boss. Wish me luck, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to fucking need it. Stellaron's right there. Hooked up to some like crazy machinery. Let me look around real quick. Yeah, that's a giant like robotic hand. All right, let's get it. <laughs> <laughs> No, do not resist, Branya. Accept the common will. Kakolia? I don't know if I feel the same way I once felt about you when I first got here. No! I don't want this. Look upon their promised future, Branya. A world without poverty, without cold, without suffering. A world where people no longer have to pray like prisoners for survival. A world that we can guard for all eternity. Hmm. 700 years ago, we tried and fought unceasingly, believing that the radiance of human nature could shepherd us towards rejuvenation. Hmm. And to what end? A crushing defeat. Damn, she's like, yeah, for 700 years, we've been taking L's, so maybe now we should actually give in to it. Be, Be one, one with, with the, the Stellaron. Why, when faced with irrefutable strength is our first thought always to 
resist to cover our ears yeah. instead of hearing the call. Uh, this Stellaron just like whittled them down. They're like, eventually someone will listen to me. It is the conceit and cowardice entrenched in the depths of human nature. Oh dear. So difficult to efface. Cast them aside. Break free of the chains that bind you. The meme. The Stellaron will lead humanity to evolve, and they will. Your brainwashing ends here, you witch. You should have let her stay, bitch. Come on, Hoyoverse. Y'all are cowards for that. Zila. You came. I thought the blizzards had entombed you. You wish. Hmm. We're not going down before you do. Oh. Branya, I don't know what happened between you and them. Even if you explained it to me, I probably wouldn't understand all the crazy details. Ah. Uh. But there are two things I do know. Number one, I love you. <laughs> Gosh, this is so great. These two characters have come so far. One, these guys have come through hell to get here, to seal this Stellaron thing. And I promised I'd protect you. And two, do you remember what I said? If anything happened to you, I'd save you. Let's go. Even if the damage is done, even if you've completely forgotten our promise, then I'm just gonna have to knock you out and bring you back myself. <laughs> Let's hope it doesn't come to that. We need you. Bellabog needs you. Zila, all of you. Come on, Bronya. Finished? I think I've given you long enough to bid farewell. It's time I told you my other reason for bringing you here. She's like, yeah, you're gonna take over now. I want to witness your choice. Come on, why are you gonna put your daughter through that? I have told you all the truths there are to tell. The deal with the Stellaron, the wish I made to it. There are no more secrets between us. Alright, can we just yoink that thing already? Many years ago, the voice of the Stellaron sounded in my ears for the first time. I was no different from the previous generations of Guardians. Refused to hear. I was as you are now. Mm. Bitterly defending the architect's so-called preservation. She let her intrusive thoughts win, ladies and gentlemen. It's unfortunate. My conviction was once steadfast, unparalleled, until a sudden change arrived and threw everything into chaos. Another choice appeared before me. A subversion of the old order and the welcoming of a new world. And compared to the Illusory, ever more distant preservation. This was so tangible. She's tired of waiting, basically. She's like, I, I want something that's real, something that I can actually have an impact on. I have agonized, long agonized over how to convey all this to you. Inevitably, the promise tomorrow will transpire. But if you were not there beside me to watch over that new world, uh oh, I would descend into torment. Don't do that. Enduring torment. You chose that for yourself, ma'am. I'm sorry. Perhaps I should be thanking you, outsiders. The pressure you have imposed has at long last compelled me to confront my final weakness. Branya, throughout your life, I have never forced you to submit to my will. You have always, will always have a choice. As then, so now. Choose, my daughter. Mm, Mom, I choose Bellabog. I am grateful to you for raising me and for allowing me the privilege of choice. I am sorry, Mother. On this, our final occasion, I cannot stand with you. If you can't stand with me, then stand against me. This Stellaron's just like, yo, are you guys done talking? You say that conceit and cowardice lie in the depths of human nature. <laughs> Perhaps you're right. Desperation sheds light on the darkest recesses of the heart. What about those simply struggling for survival, fighting for something better? True. I've witnessed their light on the front lines, in the underworld, in places you have overlooked. Not to mention all the researchers that were like, Hey, I'm gonna die, but at least the future will find an answer. And she's like, nah, nah, fam. Our ancestors built this city. Yep. Striving in the bitter snow to prolong our civilization. Even if this world is doomed to fall apart, we should allow humanity to pave the way to its final outcome. Not hand over our fate to the seed of ruin. Yeah, the Stellaron's literally just like chilling there, just having a front row seat to the show. We are Guardian's mother, chosen from among the masses. Our duty is to preserve the world built by humanity. We are not gods. We are not arbiters. Yo, equilibrium? 
that. You seek to crush human nature underfoot while masquerading as an, as an arbiter and a god. I cannot let you. This is your choice. I understand, Branya. All right, I think this is the part where the talking ceases. Such a pity that you will never see that resplendent world, unable to free yourself from the shackles of your mind. You know what? You were supposed to be the mother of the new world. Oh, shit. The ground, it's shaking. Oh. What's happening? Wait, is that robot behind us? That sign, the fate of this city, of Bellabog is sealed. Its future will unfold in our hands. Uh oh, boy. And you will become the foundation of the new world. Oh my god, Kakolia. Why did you have to be bad? Why did you have to be evil? You must break the old to build the new. Oh, fuck. The Supreme Guardian commands you. Oh. Rise, engine of creation. Whoa. Whoa. What the hell? It's one of the architect's engine machines. Watch out, all of you. It's the ruined golem. Oh, that shit looks sick. Alright, that shit looks badass! What the hell? This, this robot's a thousand times bigger than Sparog! What a heck? How do they expect me to fight this thing? Oh my god. And he's on the freaking action order. What the hell? This man goes before Natasha some bullshit! Break them! Oh! We have to <laughs> yeah, please. I'm gonna fucking die if you don't. Oh, okay, two out of three. All right. Illusions of the past. Oh, what was that? Energy regeneration. What was that about? Oh, all targets' energy gets regenerated after this unit suffers a killing blow. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know that. Wave three. Oh, this fucking mob again. I liked this mob Let's the first quick. time I fought it, but not now. Like now I'm a little annoyed. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Okay, we're okay. We're okay. How can we bring a giant like this down? We got to kill the mobs. We still have to fight Kakolia after this, I'm assuming. Decaying Shadow has nine stacks of... Is this a different one? Current stack of gauge recollection, nine. Lose one stack of gauge after being hit. So I have to lower that number. Otherwise, I'm going to get fucking destroyed. You can fight it or rock with it. <sighs> That'll take more than medicine. You're in bad shape. Let's go. The doctor's in. All right, this is clearly not over. Yo, this animation kind of goaded. Oh! Whoa, what the fuck was that? Yo, is that Sampo? Imagine. <laughs> Sampo Koski! Oh, it's Himeko! Dude, was that her fucking ultimate attack? Oh my god. Hello? Can you see? Gosh, the signal's terrible. Himeko! You finally spared a thought for I forgot us. to go back there and see them talking because there was a cutscene with them earlier. They were like cooking this up for a while. What are you talking about? Well done, I've been up on the store. you the time. Uh, You've got quite the trailblazing vision on your hands. Your Wi-Fi connection is trash right now. So how did that guy work? Or importantly, how do you pop him from work? Over to you guys, I guess. Mmm. Okay, so they just did us a solid right there. We're about to die. All right, so. Yo! Trash blazer popping off! I'll cover you! Oh shit! The whole squad! Yo, Bronya keeps that thing on her, bro. Look at her. Oh! Zila, too! This is so hype! All the characters are working together. Bro, this is like Sparog's dad or something. I swear to God. All right, Trash Blazer, get your act together. Sheesh. Behold, the power granted by them. Oh shit, she's freezing herself? Hold up. Listen to the power surge. Sing. Look at her freaking design. Promise 
is the only hope for this world. Just as it dispelled the Antimatter Legion 700 years ago, so too will it wipe you from the face. That of design this world. is so sick. Mother of Deception. Wait, wait, what the fuck? 1v1? What is this bullshit? She's not even weak to physical. Oh my god that is such a sick design she's like one with the galaxy after being assimilated by the overflowing fragmentum energy of the celeron the supreme guardian transformed into a singer able to control imaginary energy and the mouthpiece of its promised new world damn she's a corporate mouthpiece for the freaking stellaron now uh wish me luck gamers i don't know how the fuck they expect me to do this something must happen take this take that 99 damage no biggie. Yeah, get him with the ult. That'll show her. Rules are made to be broken. Rules are made to be broken. Like these legs I'm about to hit you with right now. Let's go. You're out. There you go. Harbinger of Annihilation. Let's make it quick. Yo, can we talk about it? I, I might actually decide to join you this time. Come on. <laughs> I'm not even going to get to 90 damage. Humanity. So weak and foolish. Oh. Always overestimating their abilities. Okay. Let me bestow upon you <laughs> despair. <laughs> Is this where the credits roll? Is the game over? <laughs> no fucking shot. Yo, that Stellaron better revive me. We literally just fucking died. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up. Is this the universe? Yes. Equilibrium, ladies and gentlemen. The Stellaron's not just gonna let us die, right? But I was fighting Kakolia. Why am I here? Holy shit, what the hell is this? The last time I came here, <gasps> I drew Nanook's gaze. <gasps> Could it be? Could it be? Whoa, what the fuck is that? What the fuck? <laughs> what? Bruh, this is giving me huge Erminsel vibes, number one. There's a broken planet over there. There's a broken planet over there. There's something at the center over there. Hold on, what is this? The commercial district has fallen. Oh. We've transferred the residents to the outer municipal district for the time being. The garrison lost 26 fighters. Oh, shit. Okay, so... I... Flashbacks. Go on, Jepard. I'm not sure that they're dead. I saw their broken figures lingering in the fragmentum what happened back there defied all reason it was madness madam guardian if this continues i know well the consequences jepard you may leave damn she's like yeah i get it That voice, man. This is so awesome. Why do you hesitate, Kakolia? Isn't this what you've always Ooh. been hoping for? Survival. Get out of this cage and take a look at the city. What is there to lose? The efforts of our predecessors. Their unfinished research. We can finally see them come to fruition. Give me some soldiers and I'll locate the Stellaron and find out how to save our world. Ah, uh, she's too far gone. You need to come to your senses, Serval. Damn. Come to my senses? Guards, Miss Serval is tired. Okay. Take her to rest. Damn, bro. Sequester her lab and detain the researchers. Their work is illegal. Why, Kakolia? Why have you grown so cold? Serval Landau. Oh. You were my most cherished friend. Were. Oh, she probably banished her or like fired her for her own protection, maybe. Jesus. Yo, if cold, why hot? <laughs> Madam Kakolia, the monsters are surging this way. Holy shit. It's too dangerous here. <sighs> Foolish. Weak. Uh oh, boy. Madam, what did you say? Bro, you're fucking tripping. Only I, only I can understand. They have eyes that do not see, ears that do not hear. Nah. <laughs> That is wild. Feast on their willful ignorance. Absolve them of their stupidity and fear. 
It's always the hot ones, man. I swear to God. Why does it always gotta be them? So I fucking died, by the way. Let's just talk about that real quick. I got impaled and fell to my death, and I woke up at the center of the universe, it looks like. Probably from the Stellaron. That looks like a sword or something over there. Hold on, is that a five star? I still don't understand. The fragmentum corrosion has already spread to the underworld. How will those below ground fend for themselves if we withdraw every guard? Oh, yeah. Okay, so it's getting closer to the present. The automatons will ensure their safety. The most important defensive position is here on the surface. If our lines crumble, the underground will vanish in an instant. Our defenses here must be maintained at all costs. Okay. These are the choices we make, Branya. As a leader, you must harbor the courage and foresight to choose. Hmm. You, me, and every silver main guard in the city, all of us must carry out a higher mission. There will come a day when you must make your own choice. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? A higher mission? <laughs> it is too early, Branya. Still too early. You will understand when the time is right. She also forgot to mention like, oh, if your choice doesn't align with my future, then uh, we're going to have problems. But we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Oh, who the hell is this? This little child? Excuse me? The city is drowning in tears. Guardians will. The power of the preservation is fading. Wait a minute. Yo, is Klopoth about to save me right now? <laughs> we could not defy the will of the Hold up. Time. Wait a minute. Kakolia abandoned the preservation. Imagine that. She abandoned preservation, so she's going to die. I embrace preservation, so I'm going to live. Yes. Who is this child? But we have no right to judge. The fragmentum had been expanding for the past. 700 years. Uh. There is no faith nor wealth left for our successors. Mm. Only despair. Is this like the will of previous Supreme Guardians? To see the home we vow to preserve wither away. That in itself is torture. Not to mention the haunting whisper of temptation. The day will come when even the strongest of wills cannot help but give in to such influence. Yeah. It is only a matter of time mm. before the Amber Lord forsakes us. Damn, Kapoth is going to be like, y'all are ungrateful. I'm out of here. Then let others carry the will of the preservation. Yeah, Madame Kakolia kind of fumbled the bag on that one. Not going to lie. I mean, at the end of the day, she was kind of whittled down after all the previous generations that failed. It probably made her feel like her generation would be no different. Her time as the guardian would be no different. So she tried to seek a different way. But uh, clearly that was not the right call. You, you are but a stranger to us. Hello. And yet... You seek to bond your destiny to ours. So be it. What is there to lose when so much has already been lost? This is giving me Mass Effect vibes, by the way. Like some Star Child vibes. Like Mass Effect 3 ending. Even the music. Touch the light of the amber, trailblazer. See if your will. Bro. Attract their gaze. Bro, we're literally the traveler from Genshin. When we first started the game, I was like, yo, can you align yourself with, can you be polytheistic basically? <laughs> can you follow multiple paths? Whoa, what the hell? Is that a spear? It is fire! Pyro preservation? Oh! <laughs> Where's, where's the Amber Lord? Oh my God. There he is! <laughs> Yo, he looked at us. He looked at me. He didn't look at you. He looked at me. He was like, look at me. Look at me. <laughs> I'm the preservation now. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Yo, fire and ice. Okay, we're actually gonna win the fight now. We have the type advantage. Let's go. Oh shit, the music changed too? Your preservation has made its choice. What the? Nothing of the flight of this world. Nothing of the wait for its final end. This goes so hard, I can't hear. 
walking hand in hand into the darkness. No, that is won't come to pass while we're around. What? <laughs> the stellar on I can barely hear them. <laughs> Stay alert. Oh, what the hell? Oh, this is, a, this is a new character. An ally is currently locked on. Wait, I'm literally March. What? The new skill can taunt enemies and draw attacks from Kokolia. Indestructible. Are we literally like a fire shielder? Oh my God. We do, we have a shield. Gains a shield that absorbs damage while the shield persists, enemy attacks will not reduce shielded characters HP. Wow, I have another preservation character. Dude, this is wild, bro. We just connected with Klopoth, and Klopoth was, I think, the first Aeon that we connected to in the simulated universe. So I wonder if the next one we're gonna get is the hunt, because if we go in order of the ones that are playable, Lon was the next one that we met. Oh God, no. <laughs> we gotta fix this immediately. <laughs> All right, Mama Kakolia, your days are numbered. This is so sick. Oh, dude, she literally just ate that whole thing. Magma will is accumulated when murder of birds is attacked. Okay, it's got like the six out of eight. Consume four stacks of magma will to enhance basic attack. All right, this character is so sick. I love that I brought Serval with me because this is so iconic. The only person that's out of place here is Natasha, honestly. <laughs> it's like, Natasha, what are you doing here? Time for the old world to collapse. Heartless Annihilation. Okay, so this move again. That's it. Ooh. What the hell? Oh! Dude, there's so many mechanics with this character. The engine of creation is activated. Is this the ultimate? The engine of creation is activated. Use it to destroy Lance of the Eternal Freeze. Up. What the hell is this? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, did I just command that? Like I looked at it and it looked at me and we were like, yo, you got me fam. And then how the hell did that happen? They were like, oh, your preservation. Okay, I guess I'm, oh, I see. So because preservation was on Kakolia's side initially, I think that's why it was like following her. And then they were like, you're not about that life anymore. So they're now listening to me. <laughs> Oh, that's interesting. That's like a boss mechanic. An ally target's action can charge the engine of creation to unleash preservation's wrath. I see. Kokolia, you got to take that L now. Like, what the hell? Like, you're definitely not winning. All right, let's do this. Defense. Defend the weak. <laughs> Yo, you can taunt bosses too? Wait, can I use the ultimate? Let me ult real quick. Lance the blaze. <gasps> I saw like Bronya on the thing. That's like the splash art. I just saw like Bronya and Zila on that. That's kind of cool. All right, let's peep. Flaming Lance. <laughs> Powered. Let's go. God damn. Dude, this entire like pyro MC preservation of like path. I want this for every like boss fight as we play through the game. Jesus Christ. And she's on fire. Uh oh. Yo, I ate that. Yo, I ate that too. Fire MC is kind of cracked. Guys, we're the trash blazers and now we're pyro. So we're literally a garbage can on fire. We're a legitimate dumpster fire. Do I kill her with my attack or do I kill her with the freaking robot? <laughs> Let's do the fire. Pressure. Oh, okay. Ooh. Oh, that wasn't much. That wasn't much. You know what? Let's do this real quick. Let's try. Oh, wait, wait, wait. This is round one. This literally happened to me with the Doomsday Beast. I literally used all my ults, the and then waiting. it had a second bar, and then I was fucked. I'm not going to make that same mistake twice. Yo, get him, doctor. <laughs> there you go. Go the path. Don't mess with me. Oh, shit. She actually has imaginary now. Robo, help me. Get her! <laughs> That's kind of funny. At least I know now how much damage it does if I need to reference that in the future. The power of the Stellaron is with me! You are but cinders of the No way! How is this getting better? I thought that was the Stellaron's voice. All right, Zhongli, all if I've ever seen one. Oh my God. 
Okay, we need a heal. <laughs> Dude, this music goes hard. What the hell? This is such a sick fight. This is like a conclusive boss fight. This shit's on Duvall, and let me tell you, as like a first like true boss fight to wrap up a story, I feel disrespected that they gave me Duvall in back in the day. It also proves that they've evolved. Like they like, okay, we need to do bigger and better. Okay. Damn it. I didn't get enough damage in. The only redemption. Okay, I definitely need to taunt her this turn. All right, super close, super close. Hold on. Defend. Yeah. Indestructible. Oh, it's that same attack again, actually. Ooh, hold up. Lance blaze. Oh, Japard's on it too. It's all the Bellabog characters. That's kind of cool. This is so hype. Okay, you know what? Let's wrap it up with this attack right here. I think this is very apropos. <laughs> A little OP. <laughs> All right, she's actually gonna die from that. Whoa, careful, careful. It is in her. Okay, that was unexpected. That's not gonna happen to me, is it? I got one of those things in me right now. This is La Senora all over again. Holy shit. Mother, did you wake up from that dream? Dude, even in the end, she was like, nah, I can't. It promised me. Wow. That was a tough trailblazing expedition. We made it, but, uh... What are we gonna do with the Stellaron? It's usually Mr. Yang who handles it. Hmm, Mr. Imaginary himself, eh? I wonder why. I've informed Himiko and Mr. Yang already. They'll seal the Stellaron. Nice! The crisis on this world is basically over, right? I'm gonna go ahead and say that, uh, you know, that six phase ice gave her a little bit of brain freeze on certain parts of her brain, and she's not able to perceive the social cues that should be present at a time like this after an event like that. All right. Also, yesterday was Mother's Day. So, yeah. Mm. Yeah, see, Don Hung even knows. He's like, mm. Maybe you shouldn't have said that out loud. The storm still rages on. Goddamn. Now that the Stellaron is sealed, the eternal freeze will slowly recede. Fragmentum won't aggressively expand anymore, but nor will it disappear. Eurelo 6 has a chance to return to life, but it will take time. It will depend on the efforts of the people here. Damn, she just lost her mom, dude. Thank you, all of you. Don't be too hard on yourself. We tried. We did the best we could. Thank you. I'm, I'm fine. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. There is still much to do. The people will have felt the effects of the engine of creation. There are so many questions to answer, so many truths to reveal. I don't know whether I can get the people to accept all this. You gotta unite everyone. Ah! I hope this isn't like a major choice that I have to make here. I think you should tell everyone the truth. I think it's for the best. Can I really do that? Hopefully I don't live to regret my decision. Tell everyone about mother's true motives. About a lie perpetrated for 700 years. Well, when you put it that way, I'm not going to turn into one of these history fictionologists who are out here spreading misinformation. I'm going to give it to you straight. The freaking lady on the Astral Express, she was like, yeah, don't tell your friends I'm here. Make up a lie. Like, no, I'm going to walk the path of truth. No, no way. Zila, I don't know how to explain it, but I don't think there's any other way. Yeah. In the underworld, we tell the kids... Things will be better tomorrow. Everyone knows it's a lie, but it gets them to sleep with some hope. Can you imagine the consequences? If we told the people what happened here, they'd be devastated. Uh... If we can't trust the Guardians, who or what can we trust? I guess I'm in the wrong here. I guess I'm the bad guy. Okay. Mother died to preserve Bellaba. Oh, great. What? The visitors from beyond the sky told her the secret of the Stellaron. She knew that 
that Alyssa Rand, the first Supreme Guardian, had failed to destroy it. And yet, she decided to challenge its power, a, a power beyond human comprehension. Supreme Guardian Kokolia sacrificed herself to dispel the dark clouds enveloping this city. From here on out, that's the truth. Oh, the world okay. Well, what do you think? I think that's a nice cover up. Don't forget where the truth actually was, all right? Don't start believing your own lies. That's all I want out of these people. I do not want them to be like, yeah, that's actually what happened. It keeps the hope of preservation alive. Fictionologists incoming. It's logical, <laughs> hard to disprove. Yeah. Why do we have to lie? I'm abstaining. I like telling the truth. But. I get what you're trying to do. I like telling the truth too, but apparently that's frowned upon in this society. Maybe we can include some of the cool stuff we did. Yo, am I gonna get credit for this? All right, let's use this version. Thank you for understanding. For many people, mother was an outstanding guardian. The whole truth will live on in my mind. All the mistakes. There you go. Madness evil. Dreams therein. I will be the one to carry that burden. Big shout out to, by the way, Bronya, Kakolia, Zila's performances throughout this entire storyline has been nothing short of fantastic. Now, I must take over the duties of the Supreme Guardian and discard my naive fantasies. Damn. I'm sorry, Zila. Please protect this secret with me till the end of our lives. <laughs> Damn, we take this shit to our grave. I know what to do. Thank you. Free game, by the way. Well then, as promised, let's start rebuilding the bridge between the overworld and the underworld. Yes, finally, bring them together. It's not the overworld or the underworld. It's the new worlds. Zila, can you tell everyone in the underworld that the Stellaron has been sealed? Tell them the blockade will soon be over and they will breathe freely again soon. Of course. Leave it to me. Nat's probably getting anxious about the delay. Yeah. While you do that, I'll head back to the oh my god district. I need to tell Jabbar to serve. <sighs> Whoa. Are you okay? What's wrong, Branya? Do you feel sick? <sighs> I mean, I'm fine. A lot to take in. I need to. I need to hurry. Uh, she's exhausted. Quick, we need to think of something. Uh, you, help me out here. Zila, take Bronya with you. We'll go to the underworld and pass on the message. Right. I almost forgot. You're still wanted by the guards. I might be an underworlder, but at least I don't stand out as much as you guys. Uh. Let's settle then. I'll leave not to you. Remember to keep the secret. For Brun. For Bellabog. For Bellabog's sake. God. So, wanna tell us what happened back there? <laughs> Don't think you can just reappear on the battlefield with a cool weapon in your hands uh, and skip the story. Ah, come on. I literally became one with the equilibrium. That's the second time I've sacrificed myself for you, March. I saw Klopoth the preservation. Uh, you drew the Amber Lord's gaze? That's two for right two. That moment? That's too much of a coincidence. Two aeons have looked upon me. She probably doesn't know what happened either. This wouldn't be the first time. Something similar happened when we faced the Doomsday Beast on the space station. Yep, yep, yep. Remember that glance from Nanook? Yeah, because we were already on the path of destruction, and he was like, I approve. We thought it was because the Stellaron was linked to the destruction. That's what I thought. But now it seems to be more than that. Yeah. We might need to speak with Mr. Yang to understand what's going on. The plot thickens. I actually might not have been on the right track. So are we going to die every time we get a path? We freaking risked our lives with March, and then we literally just got speared through the freaking stomach by Kakolia. And it's like, yep, we're two for two so far. Let's focus on the business at hand first. We shouldn't disrupt Himiko and Mr. Yang while they're dealing with the Stellaron. Let's talk once we're back on the Express. Okay. Mm, you're right. We need to finish what we started. Let's hurry up and find Natasha. All right, let's do it. What? Oh my God. God, <laughs> the achievement was called Winter is Leaving. Reference to Winter is Coming from uh, Game of Thrones. Tread on a brand new path, preservation. Oh yeah, and I didn't notice that too, but the weapon that the Trailblazer's using is the weapon that Kokolia was using, but ours is fire, hers was ice. Equilibrium. <laughs> oh, we can switch. Oh, okay, so it's literally like the Traveler. Your level is maintained, but I'm pretty sure the light cones, yeah. Talents, you have to redo those. All right. And then obviously you have to change your relics accordingly. Idolins will probably be given throughout the story or in the shops, just like the destruction one. All right, Zila, Ambronia, what's going on? Are you all right? 
Are you hurt anywhere? Do you feel dizzy? Tired? Or... I don't know, Sila. I feel cold all over. Isn't that normal? This place is freezing. That makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> Bless you. Um, let's get out of here before you catch a cold, too. Don't worry. I'm a tough cookie. Here, hold on to me. What? Let's go. Hold on to me? Are they touching in my wholesome Christian stream? Are you kidding me? Hoyoverse, where's the rating? I was caught off guard right there. I can't believe they would do that to me. Nah, this is great. Dude, that without a doubt was the coolest experience in a freaking boss fight that I can think of in recent years. Not even recent years. That was so top tier. The music, the visuals, the cinematic. That boss fight shits on like most cutscenes regarding fight in Genshin, for Christ's sake. Overall, like, the whole setup, the crescendo, the build-up between the dummy fight with the Echo and the robot, like, the robot kind of came out of nowhere. I was not expecting that at all to be a part of the fight. The transformation to the Fire MC of Preservation was super sick. The music was such a wonderful treat. I'm super excited to see not only how this world ends, but how the next one, like, what the next world's gonna be compared to this one. Because I feel like this first world had an amazing hook with, like, experiencing the world building and kind of like i guess the general understanding of like the stellaron and the fragmented just kind of understanding all of the world building concepts and uh, how it all came together i think was very well done i'm definitely going to be continuing on from here but i'm just stopping now because i feel like there's a lot of stuff that's going to be jam-packed into this video but we will start up relatively soon